Hey and welcome in the 11th game of the World Championship match between Nepo and Ding, as you can see in the picture. And here we are going to see this game from the Chesscom. By the way, if you like to get more advantages from Chesscom membership, you are very welcome to follow the link below of that video and participate. Here after the move e4, Nepo started with his move and we have again the Spanish opening after bishop to b5. Obviously you are very welcome to follow my article on the website in order to see all the games there and a lot of analysis about this opening. He played now the move a6 going to the main line. In the previous game he just played knight f6 going for the Berlin but now we have the main line again. He went back, knight here, castling and after bishop to e7. Black didn't capture here to go in the open Spanish, he played that one and now we have d3, the anti martial system. In the first game he just captured here on uh, c6, very interesting game actually, now he just played this move d6 and this after after the move uh, b5 he went back. Now it's not really good to go there on, uh, on uh, d5 because white don't have uh, weaknesses and he can develop his pieces very very fast. So we have this move d6 and now we have a3. The idea behind that move and in general in this, is, uh, in this Spanish system now we have the Italian bishop. White can develop this bishop immediately on c4 in one goal however the big fight here, the big the battle, if, if if these pawns on the queen side are good or this, these are weaknesses. For this reason, white usually can play this uh, uh, Spanish move order. Now he played the move a3 in order to keep alive this bishop. After knight a5 he can drop it back on a2. We have this move, he went back and now c5. Immediately we can see a hole in the center of the board and Nepo played this move knight uh, to c3, try to play against that square and now we have bishop there, try to control to win the battle against uh, this square on d5 we have castle, we have exchanges and knight goes there, so he has a very nice knight Ding played this move because his idea is to put the bishop on g7 and in the right moment, in the right moment to play the move f5, try to strike in the center of the board and now, now Nepo played this move, we have bishop back and knight went inside in order to capture that bishop we have c5 try to block this bishop disconnect white pieces from this d5 square and now we have some exchanges he went back and bishop there he is ready to give up this bishop because on g7 it will be blocked so he played this one and now after this move he played very calm and cool move rook to b8 because after some exchanges the rook will be active to take that pawn and now we have a lot a lot of exchanges and in general it's not impossible to um, avoid any exchanges in chess but if you just exchange a lot of pieces then the game could end in the, the draw we have this one we have exchanges and after this he just captured a pawn there we have this exchange he captured immediately the knight because the knight is threatening to go uh, forward actually and the bishop will not be good piece and after this we have more exchanges he captured this one and now both players exchanging more pawns here and he go for it we have this moves he captures here and now king f2 rook went out and now this move so white is going to capture an extra pawn here we have some checks here and after this try to create some counterplay white is just in time to stop the checks after this he can play the move g3 for example and after this move he is threatening the pawn so white managed to capture this one however this is a draw you can imagine the pieces go somewhere else for example white rook should be there and black rook for example should be here the, if the pawn is here of here didn't matter so much actually the, the game is theoretical draw because we have not we don't have a lot of material he played this one here and after this move players uh, repeat the position this is a professional way to uh, to make the draw actually by repetition of the moves because here white cannot really uh, press forward in this uh, and game. He has an extra pawn but he cannot really promote it because black species are extremely active. The king is very closed here and the rook putting pressure on these two uh, pawns so white cannot liberate himself, he cannot uh, uh, make easily any, any progress. The game ended in the draw, Nepo lead it into the match and Ding said he, that he, we have three more rounds in order to do something and we anticipated to see some fighting games. Tactics is one of the most, if not the most important part of the games. 
your plan could be successful if you use the tactics correctly and the tactics can be accelerator to your plan. With Grandmaster Stelios Halkias, we created this amazing chess course here on tactics and calculation and you can read the description. We have a lot of lessons and 100 exercises there. If you follow the blog post, then you can read more about Stelios life. You are welcome to click the link below the video and learn more. Thanks for your time and I hope you enjoyed the video. Here it's time for action. This is the initial page of my website and here you can click give me access to get access to free lessons. You can read this page and if you scroll down here you can add your name and your email. After that you are going to take a free lesson how to avoid chess blunders. So time for action is now and you are very welcome to join my mail list.